Hey everybody, David here and welcome to my November and December 2020 Digital Dungeon Master update. So first off, I want to say thank you to everyone uh, for your well wishes with my mother. She's doing good. She's been out of rehab for about a month now, maybe over a little month, little over a month now. And uh, she's doing good and uh, she's back to being spry like, uh, like she was before everything went down. So... Thanks everybody for your well wishes and, and your emails and your comments and all that good stuff. I, I, I really appreciate it and it means a lot. So, so as I mentioned in my last video, uh, I've had a lot of people asking me, hey, why are your games so sporadic? You'll play three weeks in a row, then we don't see you for two, three weeks in a row. And that is uh, just because, I mean, we are, I'm doing everything I can to get games going. A, a lot of times I have players that are not able to play. I mean, it is not mandatory in my games that you have to be here every single week. So, you know, it's, uh, it's just we're doing what we can, folks. I mean, I'm making videos as, as, as fast as I can. Uh, I'm now playing in a game on Sunday. Uh, Lost Mind of Fandelver, we've got those videos up there. Andrew's doing a great job uh, running the game. It's been so fun. And in fact, I really didn't think I was going to have a fun time playing in a game until we actually started playing. I'm like, wow, I am really having a good time. Because I've become accustomed over the last seven years, eight years of doing nothing but running games. And I, I I really honestly didn't know how I was going to react to being a player again. And uh, I've actually really had a good time. And uh, the players are doing a great job. We're having a lot of fun. We're, you know, there's a lot of banter going on. And uh, Andrew's doing an amazing job running the game. So uh, definitely appreciate him, you know, stepping up and, and wanting to run the game. And we're going to play Lost Mine and Fandelver in its entirety. And then after that, We'll figure out what we're going to do next. I mean, if somebody else wants to run a game, that's fine. Uh, I may run the Starfinder box set. I may run the, the new Pathfinder 2 Adventure Path coming out next year. I, I just don't know. But uh, but we'll probably continue to do something on, on, on Sunday. So, uh, we're but we're playing as much as we can, everybody. You know, people are, you know, we have professionals in the group, lots of careers, you know, kids, sickness, COVID, there's a lot of variables involved. So we're trying to play as much as we can, everybody. And uh, the videos will be out when they're out. That's all I can, that's all I can say. So, but the games are going good. Uh, Saturday Pathfinder 2nd Edition. We just finished up uh, book one of The Extinction Curse. Moving on to book two of six. And it's been a lot of fun. And uh, I'm really looking forward to getting back to it uh, next weekend. Uh, I've already mentioned the, <clears throat> the five E game that I'm playing in on Sunday. Uh, and I've also got a couple of games. If you guys have been, you know, following me throughout the years, I've started a couple of games and never finished them. So there, there's a couple of games that <clears throat> are going to get finished. Pardon my voice, everybody. This has been doing this for several weeks now. So, <clears throat> So what we'll, uh, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to finish up a, uh, I started several years back, I started a Dead Sun Starfinder campaign. Uh, we got almost through book two. Uh, so I would like to finish that adventure path. I actually had a good time with Starfinder. It's just that the players I felt weren't enjoying it because they're fantasy grognards and sci-fi just wasn't up their alley so uh, i'll have to find some starfinder eccentric players that want to play starfinder and uh, i'll probably do a book and then i'll take a break do something else and then we'll do another book so uh, it's just not going to be one long continuous continuous thing because i have a couple games that i do want to finish i've got the the dead sons campaign that i want to finish i also want to finish the uh, ghost of dragon spear castle we've only got one episode left uh, of finishing that i've also got my basic dungeons and dragons uh, in search of the unknown i've got one session left that we're going to finish so there's two games that we can finish in a couple of weeks and then uh, i'd also like to finish uh uh, like I said, Dead Sons for Starfinder. I also started uh, uh, Waterdeep Dragon Heist uh, and also Dungeon of the Mad Mage. We're not going to be finishing them simply because those games are just, you know, 
that is like one level one through 20 campaign and it's going to take so long to finish dungeon of the mad mage. And I just, I just don't, I just don't want to run it. So, uh, don't expect to see that being finished because that is, that's not being finished. But the other games that I started, uh, we will probably go ahead and finish. In fact, I'm guaranteeing that we will finish them because I just, I don't want them sitting in, in limbo. So, Ghost of Dragon, Spear Castle, Dead Sons, and uh, In Search of the Unknown, we'll get all those finished. So, definitely going to do those. <clears throat> so, I got a lot of minis I have to open up. I actually have two full cases of Pathfinder Battles, and it's fixing to be a third case here in another month or so. Uh, so, I've got two full cases I'm going to open up. I don't know if I'm going to do those live, or if I'm just going to go ahead and record the video and put it up on YouTube. I haven't made that determination yet. Uh, and then I also have 22 other sets of miniatures that I'm going to be opening up from the WizKids 4D line. Like I've got a beautiful bridge. I've got uh, uh, a ship. I've got, uh, and not not the uh, the ship from a couple of years ago, that, that piece of crap. <laughs> but no, I've got a couple of other uh, smaller ships. I've got uh, a bunch of the 4D like farmer set, the... Uh, barracks set, stuff like that. So going to be opening those up. Looking forward to doing those. Uh, I probably won't be, I probably won't be doing those live either. In fact, I've actually already recorded a couple of those openings and I'll be probably just going straight to, straight to YouTube. Sort of like those crappy movies that nobody wants to get to the theater and see. They just go straight to DVD or straight to Blu-ray now. So I'll probably just be doing some videos straight to YouTube. So uh, keep an eye on the, on the YouTube channel for that. Uh, I've got a ton of books. As you guys can see, I've got so much stuff. I mean, I'm just surrounded by stuff. And I, I've, I'm debating on getting rid of some of this stuff. And uh, about four years ago, I actually got rid, when I first moved to El Paso, I got rid of 18 boxes of books. So uh, I'm thinking about getting rid of some of my other books. I'm thinking about getting rid of uh, all my fourth edition stuff, which is the entire fourth edition line. I'm thinking about getting rid of all of my 5e stuff uh, and just, you know, staying with the Paizo stuff because I have the subscriptions for them and uh, I just don't just don't see myself playing uh, those games uh, all the time. <laughs> so uh, I've also got, thousands i've got what three four thousand miniatures uh probably going to be looking uh to get rid of the uh icons of the realm miniatures uh so i may i mean it, it's so hard guys you know when when you've been doing this you know playing this kind of stuff your whole life and you've accumulated this stuff it's so hard to part with and you know i it, it's it's a big decision and so i i think i'm going to downsize more and uh Probably, I'm just going to sell it all in one lot uh, on, you know, each each uh, version of a game. So, probably going to go ahead and get rid of my Shadow of the Demon Lord stuff. I'll get rid of the uh, Fantasy Age, Dragon Age. I've even decided that I'm going to get rid of my all my original Tal Scientist stuff. And I've had that stuff for over 30 years. Uh, it's a hard decision to make. But, like I said, I just need to downsize. So... <laughs> I really need to, to start getting rid of some of this stuff. Uh, so if I, you know, when I do it, I'll probably let you guys know and you can check out the, you know, you can check out the, the auctions on eBay. So, but uh, yeah, I'll put all the 5e in one lot, all the 4e in one lot. Like I said, all that stuff's complete. So except for the, like the dumb dungeon master screens in 5e, you know, there's like a special DM screen for every campaign. I, I don't have that stuff. So but I have all the official stuff, but all right. So moving on, <clears throat> Christmas is coming up. Uh, I hope, well, first off, I hope everybody had a hot, happy Halloween. Uh, I didn't do anything for Halloween. In fact, El Paso is pretty much shut down and uh, shut down and we got a curfew again. So uh, Corona's really blown up here. The city was doing so great uh, up until about a couple of weeks ago. And then, uh, whatever, you know, the cases that we had from February to, you know, October, it was a low number. And then all of a sudden in October, we like just 
lost control and there's just tens of thousands of cases now. Uh, so we're back to shutting down a lot of, or most of everything. And we're also, uh, got a curfew. <clears throat> so, you know, people just didn't do what they were supposed to do, unfortunately. So, uh, hope everybody had a good Halloween. I didn't have one. Didn't see any trick or treaters, uh, but I had my light off anyway. So, uh, hope everybody's going to have a good Christmas upcoming and another, uh, you know, another Thanksgiving is amongst us also. So I probably won't be doing a Thanksgiving stream, but I might, uh, I might be doing a Christmas Eve stream. You know, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, uh, you know, I did five years of Christmas giveaway extravaganzas. I got a lot of the publishers involved, a lot of the vendors involved, uh, and it was a huge thing, you know, gave away so much stuff every year. Uh, but if I do that this year, I, I'm just putting this out there. <clears throat> this is not going to be a giveaway extravaganza. I promise you it will not be like that. Uh, I've got a couple of extra things lying around uh, that I may I may uh, do, do a couple of giveaways for users here in the United States. I may do a couple of digital downloads for folks around the world. Uh, but that's one reason why I, I don't do the giveaway extravaganza anymore is because shipping just absolutely killed me on a yearly basis. I mean, most of the winners were European. I would end up having to spend $30, $40, $50 dollars to ship a book or a box set. And I would end up spending, you know, three to $500 in shipping every single year. And, uh, you know, I, I just am not, am not going to be doing this. So I don't, I don't make any money doing digital dungeon master stuff. I mean, surprise. I mean, everybody thinks that, you know, Oh, you're rich and I, no, you know, just because you're a partner on Twitch and you have a, you know, uh, you know, partnered channel and you have, you know, a YouTube channel doesn't mean you're rich folks. I mean, <clears throat> I lose money doing this actually, because I, I, I also uh, pay Bell uh, to do social media for me. So all that social media presence, you know, and that's not free and I don't expect it to be free. So uh, that's why I don't do the giveaway extravaganza anymore, people. It's just too expensive. So uh, if I do decide to do a couple of giveaways, it will be for uh, US only. Sorry, everybody else. But uh, unless you're going to pay for shipping, Unless, unless you're going to PayPal me like 30, 40, 50 US dollars to ship something. Uh, and then I'll send you something. I don't know. It may be worth it to, to you know, the Australians out there and the New Zealanders. It may be, it may be worth it uh, for them. But uh, yeah, US only. I'll uh, probably try to have some digital stuff also to where anybody would be eligible for that. So. But uh, patrons doing really good. Uh, everything is caught up. I've got another month uh, amongst us with a couple of more real life stories. Uh, I've just went through a ton. I just went through 10 totes on my vacation a couple of weeks ago. Yes, I actually took a vacation uh, and I didn't get sick on the vacation because I didn't go anywhere. But I, I do. I did have 10 totes of pictures of I mean, it was, it was just a mess. Uh, my mother and I went through them all. Uh, it took quite a while. And we ended up throwing away nine bins or nine huge Sterilite containers full of pictures. So, uh, yeah, we just decided to throw them away. A lot of these pictures were like from the, the 20s, the 30s. I mean, just people we didn't even know who they were. So, you know, we, we did <clears throat> we did call the Historical Society of the hometown that I'm from in, in Ohio. And we said that, hey, if, if you want to pay for shipping, we'll send you all these pictures. And they said, well, how many do you have? And we said, probably hundreds of pounds of pictures. And uh, they said, well, you can send them to us, but we can't afford to pay for them. So I was like, well, I'm just going to throw them in the trash. So, uh, you know. So we did, uh, but we ended up with one, one, one storage container left. We got a lot of awesome pictures and it brought back so many memories of, um, of when I was a kid that I'm going to start, you know, adding some of these pictures on Patreon and, you know, some ridiculous pictures. Uh, 
So that, that'll be fun. <clears throat> All of my patrons will, will get those real life stories. So I've got uh, more show notes going out this month for the uh, eligible patrons. Uh, and I've also got some more stickers and, and uh, coupon codes for like Neverwinter Online and that uh, Idle Champions game and stuff like that. So, yeah. So patrons doing good. Uh, check out uh, the link down below to join patron and uh, you'll get all those articles and all that other stuff. So, and in fact, I'm probably going to be running some, uh, also on my vacation. I, when I, you know, when I started learning Starfinder and Pathfinder two, I read the mechanics of the game and I didn't pay a lot. Of, in fact, I didn't pay any attention to any of the class customization stuff. So I didn't look at the races in Starfinder. I didn't look at the classes in Starfinder. I didn't look at the ancestries in Pathfinder 2. I didn't look at the classes because, I mean, you play a game, all the classes are pretty much the same in every game, right? And it's pretty much mostly the case. So I concentrated on really learning the rules of the game. So during my vacation, I was like, hey, I, I want to start making some characters for some one shots that I want to do for Starfinder and Pathfinder 2. So I decided to read every single word about every race, every ancestry, every class. And it was so fun doing that. I had I had such a great time reading about the classes and they are so I don't want to say complex, but there's so much variety with uh, with these two games and the classes, so uh, like for instance, uh, the in Starfinder, I really enjoyed reading about the Solarion. I would love to play a Solarion. I would also love to play a biohacker from the operations manual. I would love to play a soldier. Uh, you know, Pathfinder two. I really liked what I saw with the champion. I loved what I read with the the ranger. And these classes are diverse, you know. I mean, you can play a melee ranger. You can play a beastmaster ranger, just like you can in D&D, you know. You can go bow. You can, you know, fighter, you can go bow. You can go two-handed. And there's all kinds and tons of feet. This is what separates Pathfinder from D&D is the customization part of it and the choices that you get. You get class feats. You get general feats. You get skill feats. And you can just you know, customize your character to your heart's content. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. And plus with all the class feats, I mean, it's, it's amazing. So, uh, I really enjoyed, you know, doing that on my vacation and, and I made 12 Pathfinder first edition characters. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to be working on the advanced players guide next with the investigator. I've already read the investigator, which I really like also read the swashbuckler, the Oracle, and the witch read all this. I just got to make some characters. So, and then after that, I'm going to make a bunch of level one characters for Starfinder for all of the classes. And I would really like to do a lot of variations of these classes too. So, you know, take for instance, <clears throat> when I made the Pathfinder two characters, I made a sword and board fighter, but I want to make a bow fighter. I also want to make a two handed weapon fighter. And, you know, take all of those class features and other feats and, you know, really have fun with that and build unique characters. So, you know, I want the players to have a choice because I know what's going to happen. Well, I don't want to play a sword and bird champion. I, I'd rather rah, I'd rather have a two-hander. Can I make one? No, you're not making any characters because it takes too long and I'm going to have them done for you. So if you're going to be playing in one shots with me, you're going to have to play the characters. You're just going to have to suffer and bite the bullet. If you want to play, you got to play with what you got. So <laughs> my way or the highway. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'll be doing, um, hopefully going to be doing some, some games here in the near future. I want to do some uh, some of those new Pathfinder two bounties that are they they've actually they were they were called what were they called before anyway they were called something else but a couple of months ago they they were called bounties so I'm looking forward to that so but anyways I hope everybody uh, is doing well uh, you know per, you know keep doing social distancing guys because it ain't getting be any better out there I don't care what anybody says it's not getting better so. Do what you need to do. Keep yourself safe. Keep your family safe. And uh, if I don't see you uh, before 
uh, Christmas. Everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Have a great Christmas. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. And I really haven't stressed this over the years, but please, guys, give me a thumbs up. Uh, for the amount of years that I've been doing this uh, and the amount of videos, my rankings are not good. Uh, so if you guys could help me out, give me some likes, give me th some thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And uh, if I don't see you before Christmas, have a happy holidays if you celebrate them. If you don't, happy whatever you do. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. And until next time, uh, I'll see you in 2021. Until then, happy gaming. Stay safe. Bye for now. Thank you.